Hello everyone, how are you? And welcome back. I'm going to do some sweater nails. I have some inspiration on my phone, on my other phone over here. And these are some pictures I found on Pinterest. So I have this, 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 and this. So I'm gonna use some of these sweater patterns, or some of these patterns as inspiration for some nail art. I'm only going to do this on three nails and I'm gonna be using Light Elegance Dirty Little Secret. This is a really nice like fall like plum purple. And as anyone knows, purple is one of my favorite colors. So I'm gonna use this. What I'm gonna do first is I'm gonna put two coats of Dirty Little Secret on all three of these nails. Now that I have all of this done, I did the two coats of Dirty Little Secrets and then I put a matte top coat on top. Now I'm gonna go back in with my Dirty Little Secrets and I'm gonna do my knitted pattern for my sweater nails. I'm gonna use two different brushes. The first one I'm gonna use is from Southerly Sweet Nails and it is the Art Striper brush. Looks like this. Then the second brush I'm gonna use is from Crystal Nails and it's the Zero Short. And it looks like this. I'm gonna dip in and since I'm wearing gloves, I can do this on my glove. If you're not wearing gloves, you can use something like a silicone mat that I'm doing. Or if not, they have some nail techs make like little ring palettes like this. So that way you can use the ring palette. Since I'm wearing gloves, I'm just gonna work the gel through the brush. But I would not advise doing this if you're not wearing gloves. I'm gonna go straight down. The nail. So now that the first one and the pattern is all done, what you do next is you're gonna go in with any sort of clear acrylic powder. So this is from Sandy and this is just their regular clear powder. Um, any company will do, this is just the one I have in my drawer, so this is what I'm going to use. I put the lid down on the desk or any sort of paper towel or something underneath or a tray. And you're just gonna pour the powder over the uncured gel. And you want to make sure that the powder is getting fully absorbed into the gel before you cure it. So if you look at it, you shouldn't have any sort of like shiny spots. It's gonna look like this. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cure this for 60 seconds. So when you're doing anything like this, or if you're gonna do glitter on top, like an extra fine glitter, you can do that too, instead of a clear gel for like a sweater design. You wanna make sure you're gonna cure it double the time, so that way the gel and the acrylic will cure properly.
this, when the nail comes out of the lamp, I'm gonna go in with Fluff Daddy from Light Elegance, a nice big brush. Literally just going to dust all of that extra out of the way. So then you get that really nice, like textured, really nice, like textured sweater look. And that's exactly what we're going for. Done with all of the sweater nails on the other side here, here, and here. I'm gonna do, I'm gonna go in and I'm gonna do some snowflakes. Once I do that, I'm gonna go back in with my striper brush. I don't have anything on the brush. I'm literally just gonna drag the brush through the dots. Kind of like so. So I have like a really, really nice, like big snowflake. Then I'm gonna take some of the gel, just going to make little like triangle boxes between the dots. And I'm using very little on the brush. I'm going using very little on the brush. I'm also going in the middle of that dot to use whatever gel is in there. Coming out, it's gonna look something like this. So I'm gonna do a couple more snowflakes. So when you're done, this is what it looks like. Just a really cute, like cozy sweater design. And as I said, you can do any sort of design that you want. The possibilities are completely endless. And I thought it'd be cute to add a couple little snowflakes here and there. I hope you really like this really cute, quick tutorial of sweater nails and snowflakes. Everything that I used was listed in the description box below, and I will talk to you later. Bye.